Good morning. My name is Peter Nixon, Chairman of the Channel Dash Association. We're, as an association, we formed four and a half years ago. We did that because I, I retired from London Fire Brigade down to this part of the world by Manston and discovered a wonderful story about six swordfish aeroplane that took off from Manston on the 12th of February 1942 to try and stop the Scharnhorst, Gneisenauer and Prince Eugen dashing through the English Channel back to their home port, ports in Germany. They took off under terrible snowy conditions in open biplanes to try and attack these three wonderful ships but were shot down by a huge Luftwaffe umbrella protecting the ships and of the 18 airmen, 13 never returned. Within 15 minutes of taking off, 20 minutes of taking off, they were dead in the sea. Um, but I was so inspired by that, with others, we formed the Channel Dash Association. It's the 12th February 2012, 70 years ago, from here, from Royal Air Force Base Manston, the pedal town of Great Britain, the 825th Air Arm Fleet with biplanes started, under the command of Lieutenant Esmond, to attack in the English Channel a battle fleet of 49 German ships, which went from a, for a dash from Brest to Kiel. All six pilots were shot down. It was a mission impossible to succeed. But the bravery of these men has been festivated here in the Royal Air Force Base in Manson yesterday evening with the patron of the Channel Dash Association, Lord Boys. It was an honor for us, the Global Offshore Sailing Team, to be invited to this extraordinary event and we are looking forward to keep also the memories up when we go on expedition servers on the 17th of March, leaving our ship from Brest Harbor through the English Channel and making exactly the same route that the Germans did in 42. In memory of everybody who fought, men and women, on both sides. It's an honor for us. the March 2012, 70 years ago, not far behind us in this channel, took an action that has gone down in history. German battleships, the Scharnhorst, the Knights, and Howe, and Prince of England, broke out of Brest to return to Rockham's Harbour. All the British could throw against them to start with were six old Saltfish biplanes, relics from the First World War. Their brave crews, 18 men, took part and something that was equally as famous as the charge of the light brigade. Against overwhelming odds, each plane was shot down. Thirteen men lost their lives. The Germans escaped bravely through the Wilhelms Harbour. Today, 70 years on, we're here together. The Germans and the British to salute the brave men on both sides who took part in this famous action.
So they got me up in the uh, in the middle of the night at about two o'clock, and uh, it was cold and it was foggy. And we came out into the uh, river and we headed down through the fog, and juggling with the ships that were going the other way mostly, but one or two that were coming our way, or one at least that was anchored and going nowhere. And eventually we found the uh, lock to the canal and into the lock. And because of the fog, we were told we had to wait. So we've now come into a, a local marina where we had a nice breakfast while we're sitting waiting for the fog to get.